Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Poland. So today we are finally going to start the war with Attila. I know that I've been promising this war for like the last four episodes, but today it is really going to begin. Mm, I think I'm still going to wait for rifling. Uh, initially, I wanted to just uh, declare right away, but then I realized, hey, we have the uh, treasure fleet that uh, we want to want to finish. Uh, that would be a nice upgrade for our navy. And if I'm waiting for one thing, may as well then wait another like I don't know, five turns, something like that, to get the rifling as well. Uh, field guns are definitely gonna be uh, pretty uh, like a significant advantage. So let's give it eight turns, maybe less. We should get some extra science here and there. And then we declare. What I'm gonna try though, I'm gonna try to provoke Attila to declare on us during those eight turns. If he declares a little bit earlier, fine. We'll just defend for a turn or two before we attack Las Palmas. Mm. What do we want to do now? I guess just end the turn. I think I want to finish the treasure fleet before I even start provoking him. So let's end the turn. And what is this? Next. We can at least use the time to save up money so we can upgrade everything immediately when we hit rifling. What the hell? What did we get from Prague? I checked most of the city-state quests before I started recording, but I missed this one. What was it? Culture. Okay, good. That means happiness as a reward, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, tobacco to Attila. I don't think we want to trade that again. Declaration of friendship with Spain. She may come back. Uh, treasure fleet done 36%, so we're gonna need 3 turns. Um, somehow we got perfumes. Probably from Prague, I guess. Let's see, Prague, yep, perfume, that's where it comes from. Can we get something better than 4 1 tile? I doubt it. Hmm. Who needs orders? You need orders. Next, um, fortify, go. How many uh, frigates do we have? One, two, three, four, five, maybe one more. I probably should just keep spamming ships because the war with Spain is going to be just about that. I uh, should be able to get this kill, right? Ah. Oh, this might be a kill. Yep, good. Want to kill as many of them as possible, of course, because what I don't kill, it most likely kills for Spain. Um, it means influence over Sydney, so that's something we definitely don't want. Okay, this is 
fine, I guess. I could maybe buy tiles uh, to the little. At this point, we have the money, so might as well. Next. You guys are gonna wait here. This Grand Canal. So, what did we get exactly? Trade route, treasure fleet, and uh, the most important part we can heal outside of friendly territory. And we won pretty decisively. Free Great Admiral. I'll take the frigate as well. Attila only got the frigate. One more turns. Well, let's start provoking Attila. We'll see what happens. And what is this one? Don't have anything better than this. Sixteen. Well, I guess I'll work the village. Doesn't slow me down that much. Yeah, and I may build some public works in the end, or maybe even, like, start working on them now. We are still around, like, 50%. It's a pretty noticeable difference, uh, being at 50 or slightly above, above 50, and then drop under. It's, like, 30%, maybe 40% slower growth. I'm just guessing, I saw a couple of times how the numbers changed when... Uh, uh, the happiness dropped, so I didn't do the math, but the number is just to guess how much it slows down the growth. Okay, let's just do it. Six turns isn't that bad. And uh, it's true that we can't afford it with uh, over 600 gold per turn. We're gonna lose some of it when this war starts, because uh, a large part is coming from trades. Although, if we can provoke Attila, then our income will stay almost uh, intact. So, listen, I forgot about uh, demanding last time, and I probably wouldn't do it anyway, because it was a bit too early to really push him to war. I tried with a few things, um, he refused, or he didn't do anything, so let's try now. I'll ask for, let's say, that's too much, maybe 15 horses. Or not? Is it the, really the maximum that I can demand? No, it's not. Ten? Seven is the maximum. Uh, he's gonna refuse the iron since that's the last copy. Okay, 
I'm not sure how it works when I'm demanding something that's impossible. So I'll try to demand something realistic. Let's see what happens next turn. I don't want to move my units to his border yet. <clears throat> because I think when I do that, I'm, I'm gonna do it right before I attack. I don't want to get into a situation when I move to his border, get the negative modifier for my military presence. He asks me to move away or ask me if I want to declare war. I say no, but then he doesn't declare on me and I will have to break my promise. <clears throat> I don't want the negative modifier because every little bit matters and I don't want to push Spain too much. Uh, it's way too early for war with Spain or even like any hostilities between us. I just want her to stay friendly, happy. So, don't want to break my word. Look at her uh, military. Well, let's move back a bit. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Wait. What is this Corvette doing? Exploring, I guess, from now on. Fortify. Next. And I have to keep an eye on that profit. I have to make sure that when I hit rifling, I immediately cancel it. And I can already tell you that I'm gonna forget. Okay, what are we gonna do with this frigate? Um, that's a good question. I could build a fort here. Or I could wait and build a fort here. That might be better. So for now... I mean, for now, it can support our attack on this city. We'll be able to attack some knights here and there, I think. First from Darius, incense to Darius. Let's talk to him again. Three? Four. Was there anything else? First incense, silk, and horses from and to Mongolia. Should I? Problem is, we'll probably end up at war soon. Uh, Attila. Yeah, those defensive packs are still there. And so I'll pass for now, in, and if Attila declares, then I will talk to Mongolia again. Listen.
He can't demand cities. That's odd because it seems that he can't like trade even his original cities. Yeah, there is something odd about the, all of this city trading stuff that you can't even trade, or cities in general can't even trade the cities that they're founded. They can't, or they won't take them back after someone conquers them. They can't trade them themselves. What else can we do? Oh, nothing. Yeah, the the only option I have left is to move my units closer to his territory. Come on, Attila. Another sea tile, and what are we building? A quarter constable. Okay, that will take a while. are we gonna do with this guy they're about to get and oh that's a writer that's not artist uh how are we doing we need seven thousand points we can get 300 yep we have like no great works at all so using him for golden age points is a complete waste it's probably less golden age points than we get from city state quest rewards i guess this is the only option. And I'll just send the great works to the capital. Iron to Isabella. I think I'm going to keep my iron now. One turn remaining, 13 turns remaining. So we should get... Yeah, we should get this alliance. What's the other one? That's... Uh, they wanted to liberate Zanzibar. Hmm. That may take a while. We will get the wine, so we should get this alliance as well. Cargo ship or a caravan? I think 
cargo ship. I'm gonna feed Poznan for a while. What are you gonna do after that with the with that cargo ship? can maybe then either feed some of these coastal cities or just get external trade route or have another cargo ship feeding Warsaw or any other city here yeah the, the cargo ship will be fine Next. And it's about time that we get rifling because we have too much money. <clears throat> that and the game actually switched without me doing anything good What? We didn't win the science race? Uh, well, that's unfortunate. 40, 38. Ah. <sighs> How is it with the other one? So far you have the lead with five. That doesn't mean anything. I, th I think we had the lead one turn before the end and somehow lost it. But we now should be getting some cheaper tags, so... That should help. She d didn't enter industrial yet, so when she enters, it will be easy for us to see which tag she decided to go for, and that will give us a better idea if we can get Neuschwanstein or not. But I really expected us to get the uh, city state reward. Damn it! What is it that we can get? Just a general and artist for now. All of the best options. So, where do we start? Let's spend the money. How much are these? 420 and. Oh, wow. Two. Three, four. Oh, there is a river. Once again, the same mistake should have moved here.
Probably don't even have the money. I definitely don't have the money to upgrade all the Tercios. Maybe these three. One, not even these three. Two. At least now we don't have to worry about someone stealing it. Six more. So that's what? Two and a half thousand? That shouldn't be a problem. Even managed to get another defensive pack. Not that it really matters, Byzantium is basically gone at this point. But it's some more trades that we're gonna lose. We are getting what? Nothing. Just money. Okay, fine, let's do it. Um, this is gonna hurt. We are getting like 200 gold per turn, probably from Persia. And Attila. There's nothing there really. And the last one is what? Mongolia? We are buying two luxuries from him. Well, that's gonna hurt. So I guess our income will drop to like 300. Is there a chance that someone attacks us on one side? Not really. There might be some fighting here. Helsinki may even fall. But that's not really our concern. How many tags does Darius have? 34. Sweden has 32. Alright, we'll be fine. Yeah, and this is the question. Do I risk it? Say I'm just passing by and I hope he declares. Now we have all the negative modifiers we can get with him. But I still don't think it's enough. He knows that he can't win the war, so he won't declare. And he knows that if I declare, I'm going to end up fighting the whole world. The AI is too smart. Declare here. Yeah, let's do it. I promised war. Let's have war. Uh, we'll have to protect one city there. And I think I will have to trade with Spain now. But I tried to just buy from her, then sell to her, or really trade. 24 horses. How much are you willing to pay for horses? That's not too bad. She has 24 extra horses, so if I sell her another 20, it doesn't matter at all. So I'll take all the luxuries, give you what you don't have, and uh, let's say 15, 30, 
Now, 15 is the maximum she's willing to accept, or is it? No, 25 maybe. How many do we have? 42. So I can sell 20. And I can get... 40, what? 44 maybe? 45, 46. She's not overpaying a lot. Really? 49, 50. What the? So look how much she's overpaying. That's not bad. I'm not happy about trading her luxuries, but... A declaration of friendship? Yes. How does it look like up here? Sweden is not gonna be happy about this one. <laughs> How long is this quest gonna last? Five more turns, so maybe one more wave. And where did you come from? Oh, that's uh, units from our vassals. How much money do we have? 900, so that's two upgrades. Wasn't bad. They're actually all useful units. Uh, well, this should have help with all those upgrades. There is another one. Now, how does it look like around here? Don't really have too many options. All I can do, I can send the Corvette to the city. Two frigates. An admiral. Start, come on, start hitting the city. Actually, this isn't that bad. I thought we would take more damage from the city. So we'll have three attacks per turn. I still can't attack from here, right? Yeah. That means I can probably attack all these cities at the same time, I think. Come on, move faster. That should be much safer now. Okay, now I need to find the plus one range field guns. Two, three. 
So that's one. I need to get experience for the remaining ones as well, because we're gonna need plus one range on all of them. This is going to be a long turn. That's in range. Okay, let's get a farm. Oh, wait. I really should get this farm. What else? Wait. This is just too many units. <clears throat> oh, hey, Mongolia. Let's do some scouting. I have still enough movement points. Okay, so he has frigates as well now. He had to get it recently because that's the first upgraded ship that we have seen so far. But it still means that I have to be a bit careful. Yep, that's a lot of trades. Okay, what are we gonna do in our capital? Let's get the public works once. Then we can get more ships and you're gonna die. Next. I'll have to keep an eye on this. So it seems that Mongolia has has units, not just navy. Uh, how the hell is he reacting so fast? And you want the friendship. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what we need. For 70 turns, we should be able to do whatever we want and won't have to worry about uh, her reaction. I mean, if we just do too much damage, then 
she's gonna break the declaration and uh, we're gonna end up fighting anyway but it's significantly less likely so how does it look like it's like another kill Might have been a bad idea. But reinforcements are on the way. Wait. I know that I can heal anywhere, but I think it's faster healing inside friendly territory. I'll have to leave one Corvette behind. Oh, hey, that was a one shot. Didn't expect that. Come on. So this is how it works. We do damage and they retreat. But we at least do damage. I thought it would be just that they retreat and don't even take damage, which would be horrible. It's still not great. I think we can work with this. Now that I know what to expect. That's not what I wanted. You should be fine here. Move, move. Here even how much damage would I do? Not enough. We can leave one ship here exactly for this reason. Can we handle it? 2v1? find out I guess well, let's get to 20 before we start looking more specialists this corvette here so many ships and i'm still missing one oh but hey we can get the kill i didn't expect oh look at holy crap that's a lot of barbarians
Where did he go? Did I just kill him? No, there is no way the Hussar one-shots a knight. And I attacked here and, like, did not even 50%. But he is gone. Is it a bug that when they can't retreat, they just die instead? That would suddenly make those winged hussars pretty broken. Actually, I think this was the field gun that I was sending north. Oh, and we still have this problem. But now we are done with, well, most of the upgrades. So I think I can, again, pay for some cheaper buildings. Let's say, what, what are we missing that we want to get as soon as possible? Let's say Circus is probably a good idea. What else? Instability. Let's get the workshop. Not paying for that one, though. And another upgrade. How many do we still need? Two? Then we are done with this wave. That's not bad. How does it look like around here? So far so good. Are you still at war? No. Checking how many wonders I built recently because all the Sifts think that I'm building wonders too aggressively. Like two recently and that's too aggressive. What about Spain? Not hating her for doing the same thing? Byzantium is gone. How many cities? Still four cities. She's probably gonna capitulate now. Or next turn, maybe. Actually, not next turn. Uh, what? Two turns? After two turns, she should start negotiating. Okay. Probably get one more kill, maybe. Okay, you guys can move forward. Let's see. So this should be a kill. Here he's gonna retreat. Can I somehow stop him from doing it? Uh, this is a river, right? Uh, let me check. Still can't see shit. What I want to know is if there is a river crossing between two uh, these two tiles, and there probably is. Uh, 
Uh, whatever. Yeah, there is. What if I just do it this way? That should be enough. And we can give that worker back to Sam. See, I want to be your friend. The fact that I vassalized you and completely crushed you doesn't mean anything. I'm here to help. Do, do, do. What else? There are quite a few tiles that we still can upgrade or improve. Let's get two mines. I don't think I want this to be a lumber mill. Then we'll get all those farms. Okay, this is gonna be a garrison in Las Palmas. What's the fastest way to get there? Fortify. Okay, what's next? Two, three, four, five, six. Is that a kill? It should be. Oh, it's also tempting. Well, let's first kill the knight. Don't see too many wrench units. One, two, three, four, five. I can even move back one tile so it's even safer. We need one more frigate. It's gonna be this one. And uh, well, we want to make sure that ships can't leave this city. Could risk it and send the winged hussar 
the other side. But there would be one against the whole world then. I'm not sure that's a good idea. But I would like to catch that caravan. Well, for now I can send him here, then we'll see. You're gonna be a bait. All of you are gonna be a bait, I think. Oh, wait. You can attack. One, two... Wait, this doesn't have garrison. I just noticed. So I definitely want to attack with everything. Fortify... Might be a better idea. I really should start working on the plan how to get this frigate out of the inland sea. Where is the closest worker? This one. But this one still has something to do. I need someone to build the citadel. I mean, not citadel, a fort. Or I could build a fort here. This might be even better. Or does it matter? Probably not. Or... I could pop a general on this style. Because I can't buy this style. Of course, four it would be better, but... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's way too far. Then I would be able to just go wherever I want. So that's the, the best option by far. We can fade by a general, so I'm willing to sacrifice how much is that 1500 fate for this uh, citadel Yeah, once we are done with Attila, we're gonna use this tile to move north. And then we're gonna attack Darius. money do we have 600 is there anything we want to pay for maybe chancery but i don't think that we need to do that wait let's finally get this village and sweden is fine It's not even doing that much damage. <sighs> I 
You don't even get this kill. Or now oh, there's zone of control. One, two, three. I can make it here, but I won't be able to attack. There is no way this is a kill. How long? Two more turns? I'll just pull back. Okay, how does it look like? It's not a bad city. Long, long time ago, I wanted to raise it and resettle it one tile to the south, I think. But at this point, I'm just gonna take it. I think I wanted to settle here. But at this point, we'll just take it. Can easily connect it. It has the right religion. It even has a... This should be a town, I think. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is a... No, it's not an academy. That's a manufacturing. Yeah, and this is a town. That's a pretty damn good city. Are we working with those tiles? No. gonna buy what one worker two workers well, definitely one I'll send him to improve the stone as soon as possible and then maybe once this one is done with the farm and this one is done with the stone then we're gonna connect the city and check the other tiles good I think we still have two more units that we can upgrade. And why do I have a Tercio as a garrison? There should be one more somewhere. Uh, units. Okay. So you can go back. You can go back. I would just want to have this triangle down. Uh oh. This should be safe, I think. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where do we start? Let's start it here, I think. Attack. Attack. Kill him. Is it a river? Or is it the desert or something like that? cities do I want to take? All of them? All these four? How many cities does he have? Ten more. Yeah, I think I have to take these four. send an escort just in case you're gonna be a garrison I need a new garrison here Darkhan. Let's check that one up. Darkhan. Mountain warrior who supports civilian and land military units with its unique abilities. Only the hounds may build it slightly cheaper than the horseman. Oh, it replaces horseman. Plus one movement to settlers and workers. Plus not the hit points or adjacent friendly units whenever this unit pillages a tile. It's not a bad unit. It's slightly obsolete. Hmm. How are we doing so little damage? I need more ships around Krakow. Send this guy to start working on the road. He doesn't have anything to do. That 
should be a kill. Wait. I somehow killed that knight. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. That's too far. Oh, he's gonna die next turn then. We definitely could use some siege weapons. Might be time to just make a cut here and do all of this unit movement off camera. You will have to stay where you are for now. Gonna hit the city, switch, attack. Maybe moving the, the admiral first wasn't a horrible idea. Probably not worth it. <clears throat> Do we have to sit here? I like mess well for one turn because I don't want to expose the frigate. Can leave. You can leave. Two more frigates. Where do we send those frigates? Why didn't I move back first?
probably have to be careful here. There's still going to be more units. Okay. Well, let's make a cut here. I guess I should have uh, finished this turn off camera, but well, too late for that. Next time, we just need to get some siege weapons to all the cities. We would be able to take them without, of course, but uh, just too slow. Once the siege weapons are in place, this should be much faster. I think last time we will be able to finish off Attila and vassalize him. Then we will see how much happiness we'll still have to work with. I guess we'll be under 35, so that's where we'll have to end the war, or end all the wars. We're gonna move everything this way, I think. And try to figure out how we're gonna attack Persia, because Persia is gonna be our target after Attila. How many tags does he have? 36, Spain on 40, we are on 39. It's a bit scary that the Spain is still ahead. How long until we get another scientist? It's gonna be at least 20 turns, right? Merchant, scientist, 35 even. Can we get a free scientist somewhere? Porcelain Tower will be one option. I think I would rather get Neuschwanstein than Porcelain Tower. Don't think I can get both. She's still Renaissance era. I mean, there is a small chance. That's another free great person, so another scientist. And then we should get one from Tenets. What do we get next? Next we get Colonialism. It's still a lot of work. I'm looking for things that would like speed things up, make everything easier, but until we get to bombers, it's gonna be pretty annoying. Okay, so we are done with this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.